but honestly, this was the true workhorse of Germany. Unlike a tank, this was just a big gun mounted to a tank chassis. The turret didn't move, you had to rotate the whole vehicle to aim it. And that sounds bad, but it's not. The removal of the turret not only allowed for a lighter weight, which means better reliability, but it allowed the tank's silhouette to sit much lower, making it perfect for ambushes. Allied tankers weren't concerned about the mythical tiger that they would never encounter. They were concerned about stug ambushes. 30,000 allied vehicles would be taken out by stugs. And you could make four stugs for every one tiger, not to mention they'll actually make it to their destination without breaking down. Some stug crews were racking up 50 to 100 confirmed kills with one vehicle. That's an insane amount. And these things ended up serving pretty much the whole war. They made a ton of variants and it was very successful. And despite being cheaper than the Panzer IVs, they had better optics. So I can see why these were so devastating.